Hello everybody, welcome to another Matplotlib tutorial video. In this video, I would like to show to you how to create a GIF animation using Python. So this is the final result. The image on the left here is the GIF file where the number of frames per second is 2 images. This image on the right here, the number of images per second is 10 images. So I will show you how to create this GIF animation using Python. So the idea in creating a GIF animation is very simple. First, you just need to plot all of your data and then save it as a figure. The idea in creating a GIF animation file is very simple. You just need to plot and then save of your data into a figure as shown here. This is the example of my data. I plot a 100 data and then I save it as a figure here. Name it as figure 1 up to figure 100. And then we will use Python to combine all of these images into a single GIF file. Let me open my Jupyter Notebook and show you all of this process. So this is my Jupyter Notebook file. And the first cell here, I will import the libraries. There are several libraries here. I put a comment here to explain what the function of these libraries in this tutorial. So the first two libraries here, I mainly use this to load the data. I have two data type, which is the CSV file and the save file. And then this two library here is promethodlib. I will use this to plot the data as well as generate the unstructured grid object because my data is based on unstructured triangular grid. And then this two library here, MPL toolkits and NumPy, I need this library to create a color bar in the figure. And finally, our last library here, the image IO, we will use this image IO to create the GIF animation. Okay, let us import the libraries first. I will import my dataset. You can use any dataset that you have. The concept is same for all data. This dataset here is the same as in my other Matplotlib tutorial video. I have the triangular unstructured grid, seawater surface elevation data every one hour, which is I got it from Eficom numerical model simulation. And the last data is a save file, which is represent an islands where I simulate this seawater surface elevation. Okay, let us import the dataset. Now I will check the my water elevation data. As you can see here, I have 100 water surface elevation data. To create an animation, I need to plot all of this data and save it as an image file. But before plot and save all the data, I will plot one data first. So here I create the unstructured triangular grid object, and then I create the color level variable. I will use this color levels in the color map in my three counter fill plot here. And in this cell here, I will create a single plot. So this is very important process in creating GIF animation. Make sure that your data in a good shape, such as adjust the figure size and the figure resolution, choose the correct color map, as well as adjust the level of the color map. And then if you need a boundary like this island here, you can add it using this uh, save file. Next, you need to adjust the axis limit as well as the axis label. And, and you also can customize the ticks of the axis and down here I create the color bar. Once it plot in a good shape, then I plot and save all data using a for loop. Simply I just copy the code here and then put it inside this for loop. If I run this cell, this will create a 100 figure as, and then save it inside the folder image. Uh, currently my folder image is an empty, so when I run the cell and it will save all the figure in this folder. Let's we run this cell. Now, as you can see here, I will generate a 100 figure here. Let's wait this process finish. Okay, I have 100 images in this folder. So now we will use the image IO Python library to read all of these images and then append it as a GIF animation file. So in this cell, beside plot and save a figure, I also save its figure name as a list. Here I have the file names variables. This file names variable is a placeholder for figure file name. So here in the code here, the file names that I append, I append all of this figure file name. So why do I create this uh, file names variable? Because uh, down here we will use that file name to load the image. So we don't need use extra libraries such as globe or os. To get the list of the file name so if you check the file name variable here this is contain a hundred uh, list of the file names so next in this cell here we create the animation using the image io.get writer 
This function takes two inputs. The first input is a file name. This will be the name of my animation file. The second input is FPS, which is stand for frame per second. Here I set frame per second as two, and the name of the GIF animation is myanimation.gif. In this for loop here, I read all the image file and then append them all and save it as a GIF animation file. Let us run the cell and see the result. Okay, it's done. Let's be check the GIF animation file. Alright, so this is my GIF animation file with the FPS equal to 2 frames per second. And if you think this is too slow, we can increase the FPS. Let's be change that now. Now I will save it as my animation 2 and then the FPS I will change to 10. Let's rerun this cell now. Alright, it's done. Okay, let's be see. Alright, so this is the animation where the FPS is equal to 10. Alright, so this is the final result here. On the right here, the animation with 2 FPS and on the left here, the FPS is equal to 10. So that's all the process in creating GIF animation in Python. And that's all the process in creating GIF animation using Python. That's all from this tutorial video. I hope you learned something useful from this video. If you want to download this Jupyter Notebook file, I have this file in my GitHub repository. The link is available in the video description. You can download it for free. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial video.